hey guys, if you're in 91, and I'm talking about F0. Now, why? Because apparently, Toshihiro Nagoshi, not sure if I pronounced that right, apparently he was a producer for the game, and he'd still be up for working on the series again, right? But here's the thing. I'm not going to say his whole quote, but basically he was pointing out that if the opportunity presents itself, you know, he would do it, but, but it'd have to be a way to make it like a challenging game, he says, because if it was just fun and accessible, you know, you already got Mario Kart for that. That's basically what he said, and that really does pose the question. I know that a lot of people would like F-Zero to come back, right? And truth be told, F-Zero hasn't come back in a while, and F-Zero used to be fun, right? But that is something to consider, because I know that many people probably want F-Zero to come back, right? But how could it differentiate itself from Mario Kart? Mario Kart already has... The new Mario Kart, yes, I don't have it for Switch, I have it for Wii U, but Mario Kart 8 has so many tracks and even F-Zero DLC. It's just one of those things. How can you differentiate yourself from Mario Kart? Now, F-Zero doesn't have like attack stuff like, you know, shells or stuff like that. As far as I know, F-Zero has mostly been about speed. You know, you avoid the sides that have, like, the electricity and stuff on them. You do to the sides that have, like, the healing and stuff on them. But mostly it's been about, you know, just racing more so than Mario Kart. Because Mario Kart, yes, it's about racing, but it's also about k using shells and stuff and using items to your advantage. But I'm not sure how a new F-Zero could really differentiate itself from Mario Kart. So I think that this producer is right. That if they made an F-Zero game, they would really have to make it challenging, but I also think they'd have to make it really different from Mario Kart. Different enough from Mario Kart to justify its existence almost. So what do you guys think, those of you especially who are F-Zero fans, what do you guys think would differentiate F-Zero enough from Mario Kart 8? Mario Kart that has all those levels, all those characters, even non-Mario characters. What type of features do you really think could differentiate the F-Zero game from Mario Kart? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.